Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Yuki Tsunoda and Leclerc, Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, and Fernando Alonso. Vettel, Gasly, Esteban Ocon, and Stroll. Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. Russell and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. The drivers we're racing are Sonoda and Norris. Seven now, P7. Sonoda is ahead of you, they're on fresh softs. Norris is behind you, they're on fresh softs. The gap to the leader is 3.3 seconds. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Four laps remaining. You have P5, P5. Hamilton is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 1.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Tsunoda behind. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh softs. Our gap to first place is 3.3 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Four laps remaining.
That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. P3. You are currently in P3. Perez ahead. OK. Gap ahead is 1.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Hamilton behind. They're on fresh softs. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Just three laps to go now. Three laps. Okay, our main competitors in this race are Bottas and Perez. Nice move. Good job. You are in first position, front of the pack. Bottas is behind you. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. That move was illegal. Return the position. That was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay.
OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender?